Hey, what's up YouTube? This is the second video in my uh, streaming video collection. What I'm going to show you today is the Xbox One streaming Forza Horizon 2 to an Android tablet. Now recently Microsoft announced with the uh, Windows 10 um, launch that they're going to support streaming Xbox One content to PCs. So this is a similar concept, however uh, to do this now, you're going to need some additional kit. When Microsoft finally get around to releasing the update on the Xbox One and on, uh, on and in Windows 10, you'll be able to do this natively to a, a PC. So, as I say, this is going to be slightly different. And uh, to save any confusion, I did a video about four years ago showing uh, an Xbox 360 streaming to an iPhone. And a lot of people commented that it was a load of crap. It was just a video being played on my iPhone. Um, it was an illusion. It actually, it was some software that was released on iOS. Um, you needed a jailbroken iPhone at the time. Uh, and then the people who wrote the software ended up being bought by a company and they were never seen and haven't been seen since. So what I'm gonna try and do to stop all of that confusion is show you how this is done step by step. So hopefully you're looking at a picture now of the uh, said architecture so what we have is the xbox one which has been fed into an ava media u3 extreme cap video capture device so that's now capturing the content and that extreme capture device is connected via usb to my pc so far so good so if i was to launch the capture software on my pc i would see the contents of my xbox dead straightforward where the issue or the challenge is, is how do you make a controller work with this? So some clever people um, released a product called a Chronos Max, and then there's been a variant of a Chronos Max called a Titan One. And what these devices were designed to do was to allow you to use any controller on any console, and that's what they're sold as. So the Titan One plugs into your USB port on your Xbox One and, in, and what this is, as I say, is designed to do is you can actually pair this with a PS4 controller and use that on an Xbox One. I could plug it into my PS4 and use an Xbox One controller. I could plug it into an Xbox One and use my PC uh, keyboard and mouse. This is the core component which allows me to use some software on my PC in conjunction with the Ava Media Capture Program to then capture my Bluetooth controller, which is attached to my Android, and send those inputs down to the PC, down through the Titan One, which then sends the controls to the actual game. Sounds complicated, but it's dead easy to set up. That is the core concept of how this works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this working. Now, one of the guys in the NVIDIA forums called, and forgive me if he's, he's watching this and the name's wrong, I think he's called Nephilim, has basically wrote a program that puts all these components together. So um, he grabs the output from the U3 capture, he talks to the Titan 1 uh, device and makes it all nice and easy in one PC application, which is called Console Extreme. So as you can see on my shield i have console extreme which is actually just a pc program that i've added to my steam library so now it appears as a as a program that i can run on my android console so i'm going to launch this so this is now launching console extreme on my pc which is going to grab the output from the u3 which is powered on and show me it on the screen so as you can see, there's my Xbox One as it currently is. Now here's the magic. Do the controls work? Yes, they do. Let's put a bit of volume up. Uh, there we go. So I'm using the D-pad. As you can see, it's working. So just to run through this, so what this is doing is taking my input from my Bluetooth which is connected to my Android tablet. The Android tablet is capturing, sorry, is showing the output from the U3 capture device 
and then there's a program called Console Extreme, which is putting all this together and allowing it to be controlled all in one. So let's have a go. We'll fire up Forza Horizon. This will actually work outside of the house as well. And one of the great things apparently they're bringing to Xbox Smart Glass very soon is the ability to switch your console on remotely. So in theory, I could leave the house when that feature's around, fire up Smart Glass, power my Xbox on. Obviously I'm, I need my PC on as well, but I usually leave that on all day, any day. Um, be sat in McDonald's on their lovely Wi-Fi and be doing exactly this. There we go. As in my previous video, there is next to no lag, albeit I'm pretty rubbish at driving this car. Turn around when it I'm using so. right trigger as accelerator, left joystick, my turning left and right. That's a bit from there. Oh, rewind. Right, what I'm looking for. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. The excellent view. So I'm not going to say I've got a mobile Xbox, but I have got similar capabilities to a PS Vita for my any Xbox game. It doesn't really matter uh, what you're running. This, in theory, will run with anything you can run on your Xbox. As long as you can capture the output, I'll be able to control it. I'm quite looking forward to when the Windows 10... Um, and I'm on the preview for Windows 10, but I'm looking forward to when they bring out the actual native streaming uh, which will allow you to just do this sort of thing to a laptop. I do have a lovely Surface Pro 3 with an Xbox Wired controller that I'm uh, very eager to, to try that on. I'll say when that, that feature is available uh, for both Xbox and Windows 10, you'll be able to do this to any laptop without any need of any additional hardware for doing some kind of controller for said laptop. And as I understand it, you won't need a very powerful PC because you're basically just streaming audio and video. All the processing is being done on the Xbox. Now the only thing... Oh, actually, I think this will... Yeah. That just take me out. The only thing I think this thing can't do is replicate the guide button, or what I call the old guide button, the big silver button in the middle of the Xbox. So I don't think I can get back to my dashboard. Uh, I'll have to look into that. There, there may well be a, a sequence to press, but I've not come across one. I'm just trying various random things now. As ever, if you uh, like the video, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe to me, I'm going to try and do some more videos, particularly around streaming technologies. Quite a uh, thing that I'm interested in at the moment. I've been for quite some time. Uh, so, yeah, that's it, guys. If you want me to uh, show you playing any particular game, if I have in my library, I will try my best. What I've tried to do is show you a game that isn't available on Android or a PC. Uh, to make it a little bit different okay guys well thanks for watching and i'll catch you later